The 2021 Medicare for All Strategy Conference is using an online organizer called SCED as our conference platform. We're going to take you through the steps of logging into your account, setting up your conference profile, signing up for sessions, attending sessions when they begin, and accessing our help guide. We may reference some links here. Uh, if you need to find those, they're in the written guide, uh, and a link to that guide is in the video description below on YouTube. So the first step, of course, is to purchase your ticket on Eventbrite. After that, you can log into the conference's SCED page at any time uh, at medicareforall.sched.com forward slash login using the email with which you registered for the conference. So if you're not logged in, it's going to look like this. There aren't going to be any little dots here uh, next to the sessions. And you'll know you have to log in because up here at the right, it'll ask you to log in instead of having like your little profile picture. So if you've forgotten your password, click on the reset your password link that's down here underneath the login form and then enter the email address you use to sign up for the conference to request a password reset. Um, if you have done this, but you still haven't received an email from SCED to reset your password, check your spam inbox. And if nothing is there, please submit a ticket at our help desk. Again, the link is in the video notes in the video description, and we will help you log into your account. All right, so when you've logged in, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have your schedule, your speakers, all across the top here. Time zones uh, for the conference agenda default to central. Um, if you live in a different time zone, make sure you set the correct time zone in the bar on the right. That's over here. Um, you'll set your time zone using a large city um, such as America, Los Angeles, or America Phoenix uh, for Mountain Time, or America New York for Eastern Time. I feel like there's way too many options, actually. All right. OK, that's going to reload your page so that you're in the right time zone. Then you're going to select the Schedule tab, and we're here. This is where the entire conference agenda lives. If you want to see a more detailed agenda that lists descriptions, as well as speakers and moderators for each session, mouse over the Schedule tab and choose Expanded. So now we're in the Expanded view. So you're going to see the title as well as the description. If you want to stay within the simple schedule presentation, you can go back. And then you'll be able to mouse over each part and you'll be able to see from there, from the mouse over. So this is the important thing. To attend any session, even to access the pre-recorded videos, which are going to be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in the days leading up to the weekend of the conference, you must add the session to your personal schedule. And it's really easy to do this. Um, just click on the little white circle next to the sessions you're interested in. Just go down on each and that will automatically enroll you. And you can do this like right before or during um, uh, the start of the session. So no problems there. So then when we get down to the workshops, you can only enroll in one workshop for each block. So the pink ones here, this is the workshop. This is the workshops for the 245 block. And these are the workshops for the 4 p.m. Uh, block on Saturday. So you know when you choose one, telling your healthcare story, for example, all the other ones will be grayed out. Let's say you know, you've know you chosen this one, but you don't want to do it. Um, you can just click it again. They'll all appear, and you can choose another one. If a workshop says limited, like this one, uh, it's close to reaching capacity and you should enroll as soon as possible. Uh, if a workshop says full, it has reached capacity. However, you can still add a full workshop to your schedule. You'll just be placed on the wait list for that session. 
Um, some workshops are going to appear full up until Saturday, but right now we're working really hard on increasing the enrollment cap for every workshop um, the day after the registration deadline to give all attendees a chance to choose their preferred workshop. So hopefully we'll have um, we'll have multiple iterations of the really popular workshops that are kind of filling up right now. Okay, now to attend a session. Um, going to give you an example of that here. Um, so I've created sort of like a fake session that's happening today, Monday, uh, January 11th. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to log, make sure you're logged into the conference SCED page. So, you know, if you're, if you don't see it, if you're on the SCED page and you don't like really see anything showing up down here, or you can't click on anything and maybe because you're not logged in. So you got to make sure at the top, you see that you're, you, you're actually logged in. Um, so that's the first thing. And then you have to make sure you've actually added the session to your personal schedule, as we have discussed, clicking the white circles here and making sure the check mark is there. So each session, um, it's only going to list the link to the video 10 minutes prior to the listed start time. So if you don't see um, a video link, that doesn't mean that, you know, it's not coming, but 10 minutes before you will be able to, to click on it. So what you want to do is roll over to this and you can actually click on it. And then this is this is going to appear 10 minutes before and you're just going to be able to press it, um, especially if it's a Zoom. Um, if it's a pre-recorded um, agenda item, then it's going to look a little different. It's just going to say, it's just going to have a link here. But that's where you're going to find um, all of the Zoom links for uh, the session. All right, and then finally, um, an hour before the conference, um, this contact us button is going to turn into a live chat. Um, before, before the day of the conference, the contact us button is, is, um, something you can use to send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, but during the hours of the conference, um, there will actually be a live chat button so you can, um, get help getting into your sessions if you're having trouble. All right. Looking forward to seeing you all there.